Yo, internet! Welcome back, and in today's video is gonna be all informational and kind of a, a reveal of a, a product deriving from our existing product that is the 2004 to 2008 F-150 Coyote Swap harness and other mechanical products like the crossmember PCM bracket and shift cable bracket. It dawned on me that after getting this uh, expedition project that has the 5.4 and 11 to 14, it uses the same 6R80 as the Coyotes, but it's also a copperhead ECU. You might be asking yourself, what the heck is a copperhead ECU? Um, it's kind of the general term that's used for Gen 1 Coyote and like 6.2 uh, ECUs, I think even the 3.7 is uh, considered a copperhead. Um, what does that mean for you guys in this new product that it dawned on me? Is that with the Coyote Swap harness for those trucks, we can take the computer from the 5.4 expeditions from 2012 to 2014, and you can swap a 6R80 in your truck without swapping a Coyote, because it's a little more daunting, a little more project, and a lot more people that feel are swapping to a 6R80 to get rid of the, the 4R and party with the 6R, but this allows you to not have to use an aftermarket controller that might be less than stellar, and it's a complete OEM solution, and you'll have more tunable ECU to, you know, maybe tweak the transmission and your engine and keep the 5.4. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. I'm like, it just kind of dawned on me after looking at expeditions and stuff that uh, this was possible. Uh, the only ECU that I can think of, unless you guys have some ideas, um, is this expedition. It has to be from 2012 to 2014. Uh, 2011 has like the four pins that are different. Uh, so if you are in a pinch and you can only find a 2011 uh, expedition or navigator uh, ECU, then we'll... Uh, We'll accommodate you for that. But yeah, we're still rocking and rolling, making harnesses every day. I mean, I just about caught up the other day and then you guys just keep uh, keep putting them in. So awesome. Thanks again for that support. It, uh, it means a lot. Yeah, I got the, uh, the harness for a 6R80 only swap for your 2004-2008 F-150 uh, live on the site. So go check it out, see what you think. And we basically have a whole package to do that for you. The cross member, like I said, the PCM bracket, because the Copperhead 5.4 ECU looks just like a Coyote ECU and from the Expedition Navigator. And the shift cable bracket, so you can reuse your uh, shift cable from the 0408 onto the 6R, no problem. Uh, it does take a little tweaking, uh, adjusting to make the, the needle line up, but uh, it is what it is. So I think that's a really cool solution for you guys. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Super short video today, but uh, I was too excited. I spent like all day yesterday vetting it out. It is a little different than our Coyote Swap harness, a few connectors here and there, but um, also let me break down on what parts you'll need. Um, Cause it'll be, it's only a handful that you'll need to do this swap, obviously besides the transmission and stuff. Well, besides the transmission, we got the cross member. Uh, the shift cable bracket, PCM bracket, blah, blah, blah. Uh, as far as OEM parts, you're going to need some st similar stuff like you would with a Coyote. You're going to need uh, a truck pedal from uh, 09 to 14. Doesn't matter from truck or expedition or, or what, but definitely try and find one for an F-150. Bolts right in, bolts into the truck. Um, you need the high AC switch because we're switching over to the copperhead. It's expecting a different sensor on there. So the high AC switch. Uh, it's a pressure transducer switch. You're going to need the engine harness from an 11 to 14 5.4 Expedition or Navigator. And in this case, you won't need to buy an F-150, 11 to 14 F-150 battery harness. You're just going to reuse yours because it uh, includes the starting um, circuit and all that stuff. So that'll be one less thing you have to worry about. And our harness will hook up to the alternator, the small plug, so you'll reuse your large charging wire from the your 0408 and our harness will include the the three pin plug from that goes to the alternator and it'll also include the ac hookup the compressor because the engine harness on your 54 and your 0408 has the uh, ac compressor hookup where uh, it's no longer existing on the 54 of the expedition and the inline feed 
uh, is the engine inline harness has that feed for it, but we just have to break that out. And so you can have your AC function. That's really it, you know, besides, you know, getting the mixer, getting the appropriate drive shafts. Um, our cross member does work with the four by fours. So um, I'm not, I don't have any firsthand experience with the four by fours, but I do have a customer that um, used the cross member. It cleared the four by four. Uh, he used, I think it was like 2009, 2010 drive shafts so that everything would kind of line up with uh, the diffs and whatnot, but you might have to do your own research on that. But I'm more experienced on the electrical side of things, so at least that's what most people are more wary about. There's one thing to remember that since it is essentially you're swapping your old 5.4 PCM for the newer Copperhead Expedition 5.4, it's very similar to a, a Coyote swap. So your old cruise buttons should work. I've looked at the resistance values and they're the same. So your old cruise buttons should work and you do need to delete the pats out of the Expedition ECU for that to work. So you have one computer controlling your old 5.4, but also controlling the new 6R80. I think it's just, it's just brilliant. Uh, and thanks for Ford for making those, I guess, 5.4 still in the Expeditions. Still don't know why they didn't put Coyotes in them, but uh, I guess this is a, a one little good caveat of that. Uh, allows you guys to swap a 6R80 with a like OEM plus solution. See, we all know the controllers that uh, control 6R out there, and uh, I feel at the price point that they're at, and the wiring that you have to do, and compared to ours, which is basically the same price, and you just, you know, spend a little more getting some OEM used parts, I think you'll be uh, a little further ahead on that. Granted, ours is just tailored for these trucks. Um, I'm gonna see if there's a solution to maybe put a 6R80 behind a three valve, Mustang and see if I can come up um, with a similar situation if you use uh, maybe that, that same computer with our Coyote swap harness because it would be just about the same. Yeah, that'll be a wrapping up. So all you 0408 F-150 guys, you have a kind of a, it's basically a plug and play 6R80 solution uh, without swapping to a Coyote. And if you like your 5.4, that's great. A lot of people don't want to swap to the Coyote, but um, now we got an option to upgrade the transmission, keep your 5.4, and you can do 4.6, you just have to do some tuning, um, you know, lock out the cams, because those old uh, 0408 4.6s are two valves, so you won't have to lock out the cams, they're already locked out, but you just have to get someone to lock it out in the computer in that Expedition ECU, so super cool stuff. Yeah, that's the breakdown on our kind of new derived product that I'm going to offer you guys, so it's on the site uh, in the description below, make-it-modular.com. And uh, if you want to keep, uh, keep up on my uh, OEM Plus solutions for modern Fords that came out before the Coyote, hit that subscribe button and please give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.